In this video, we are going to discuss Catholic gifts. These are gifts that you can give at any time of the year, but especially after sacraments, baptism, first communion, confirmation, and even holy days, holidays, such as Christmas and Easter. I will also answer the question that I get asked the most in my comment section. Where'd you get that? Where'd you get that rosary? Where'd you get that statue of the Virgin Mary? I like that blue medal. Where'd you get that medal? All this and more coming up next. Giving a Catholic gift to somebody can really open up their heart to receive graces. It can be a great way for evangelization and to help establish other people's homes and your own as a true domestic church. If you're giving a Catholic gift to a child, don't only get them a Catholic gift, but also get them something else that they like. Imagine if your kid is asking for Legos for Christmas and you give him a rosary only. He's gonna be a little bit resentful. So you have to be as cunning as a serpent, but as gentle as a dove. I've broken these gifts down into five different categories. The first category is statues and dolls. My favorite statue, the statue that many people ask me, where'd you get that? Is this statue of Our Lady of Fatima. And for a long time, I didn't know where we got it. My mom gave it to me as a gift and I looked it up and it's found at America Needs Fatima. Now this small statue is about $125. It's 17 inches. There are much larger ones. This one belongs to my assistant. She allowed me to borrow it for this video. $125 is a lot of money, but I can say from owning this statue over several years, it is absolutely worth it. Out of every statue that I've ever owned, and I own a couple of statues, I feel such a great sense of the presence of the Virgin Mary when I look into the eyes of the statue. When I hold this statue, I really have a connection and I feel like my conscience is able to hear the voice of God much more clearly. This statue of Our Lady of Fatima is probably one of the best that I've found. I will put links in the description for this video. Also, here to my left, I have a statue of St. Joseph. I bought this statue for my son for Christmas. Of course, I got him other Christmas gifts. I got him this statue because his name is Joseph, and I encourage people to put a statue or image of St. Joseph in their home, especially because this is the year of St. Joseph. And what better way to call down the protection and the love and the assistance of St. Joseph than by having a statue or image of him in your home. Now this statue is much cheaper and can be found online. I will try to find a link for you, but any statue of St. Joseph will do. Off to my right, I'm sure you have noticed these beautiful little dolls. So these little plush dolls make great gifts for God children. If you're a God parent and you have little ones, what better gift to give than an image of St. Joseph or the Blessed Virgin Mary or the Sacred Heart of Jesus or St. Therese? These are soft so they can sleep with them. And what this does, by giving children dolls, especially soft ones of the saints and of the Virgin Mary and of Jesus, it allows them to normalize the faith and allows them to feel a special connection from a very young age with the saints and with Jesus Christ. Now your statue doesn't have to be expensive. There are many cheaper options that I do encourage people to buy. So I have a lot of these little plastic statues that my children have around their beds. I have some that are larger than this. And of course, no home should be without a crucifix. Jesus crucified is the greatest sign of God's love for humanity. I will put links for all of this stuff in the description below. These are not affiliate links. This video is not sponsored in any way whatsoever. The second category of gifts I like to call wearables. And I really like this category because now we can begin to do some real spiritual good. What do I mean? Let's say you have a son or a daughter who's away from the Catholic faith and you want to really make a difference in their spiritual life. You give them your normal gift and you put it in a little bag. Inside the bag, you also put a brown scapular with a well-written note saying, my son, my daughter, I love you so much. I hope you enjoyed this present. I've also included a brown scapular. I know you're not going to church, but it would mean so much to me if you would wear this underneath your clothes every day. Love mom, love dad, etc. And what happens? Well, we have to remember that wearing 
wearables, especially sacramentals, Marian sacramentals have promises associated with them. So you might be familiar with the brown scapular. The promise is nobody who wears a brown scapular will suffer eternal fire. And I really believe that the Blessed Virgin Mary, if you can convince somebody to wear the brown scapular, the Blessed Virgin Mary is going to intercede and God's going to give them the graces that they need, especially at the hour of their death. If you're looking for high quality brown scapulars, I encourage you to check out Etsy. You will find handmade high quality scapulars, many of them that come with a St. Benedict crucifix or a miraculous medal. You're just collecting sacramental upon sacramental to get them maximum graces. Another great gift to give that's a wearable is a miraculous medal. This also has a promise associated with it. In 1830, the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to St. Catherine Labore, and she promised that anybody who wore the miraculous medal with confidence, especially around the neck, that they would receive great graces. Now, you don't have to get them a very large miraculous medal. There are dainty little feminine miraculous medals that can go around the neck of your child or a woman in your life. A common question that I get personally is, where did you get your blue miraculous medal? I really love how it makes the Virgin Mary stand out. You can simply search for it on the internet, blue large or extra large miraculous medal. I get mine personally in bulk from St. Paul Street Evangelization. And then what I like to do is I remove the little ring that they have around it and I put what's called a split ring on it so that it doesn't come off of the chain. Now you might say, Gabriel, I really want it like yours. I want it to have a gray string. If you want it like mine from me, you're gonna have to join my Patreon. Now let me make a little note. Whenever you give something like a miraculous medal or a brown scapular or the rosary, it's important that you give them a little pamphlet, a little explanation, a little booklet. Other wearables include bracelets. Bracelets that also act as a decade rosary. Even better, when they have little medals on them, if they have a patron saint, you can have that medal put on it. Another great option for bracelets or jewelry are bracelets that have miraculous medals all around them, or even St. Benedict medals. The St. Benedict medal is associated with the great St. Benedict, who is an exorcist, and this is known for keeping evil spirits away. All sacramentals, like the miraculous medal, when they're blessed, are very powerful at keeping evil spirits away and calling down God's blessings. The final wearable that I will discuss with you now is the mantilla or the chapel veil. There is a fantastic video on the chapel veil, which I will link if you'd like to learn more about this. Women sometimes are interested in the veil and they never try it simply because they don't own one. Buying somebody a beautiful chapel veil or getting them a gift card to a place that has beautiful chapel veils can be a beautiful gift for a woman. Our third category of gifts is Bibles and books. I'm a big fan of giving Bibles, especially high quality Bibles. I'm actually giving this Bible to my daughter for Christmas. Now, there are many great Bibles. Everybody has their own Bible. I know there's a lot of different places putting out their Bibles. My favorite Bible is the Catholic Answers Bible. Why do I like this Bible? Because mixed in it, they have, ooh, listen to that sound. Mixed in it, they have various apologetics. So for example, why does the church teach that Jesus is God? So mixed in with sacred scripture, she can go and she can see all these questions. Now, not all children can receive a Bible. There are age-appropriate Bibles. My daughter, Gemma, who's nine years old, actually bought this Bible for her little sister, Louisa, who's three years old. This is the beginner's Bible. In it, it's just Bible stories with little children's pictures. The stories only last about one or two pages, and it's a good way to introduce children to the Bible. You might also want to look into an action Bible, which presents the stories from the Old Testament and the New Testament with a comic book looking art style. And now this isn't something that they pray with, but just to familiarize themselves with the stories. Other books that you can give out are high quality versions of spiritual classics. So for example, my friends Adrian and Keenan, you've met them on our podcast. They love to give out a copy of The Secret of the Rosary, but the leather bound version. And this is important, why? We tend to appreciate beautiful things. Another example of a high quality spiritual classic is The Diary of St. Faustina. This was given to me as a gift, and it is my favorite version of The Diary of St. Faustina. Because it's compact, it's beautiful, it smells nice, the pages are gold, I love this. 
you may have noticed a great renewal in interest in the traditional Latin Mass. A great gift is the 1962 Missal. Sometimes people go to the Latin Mass, they have no idea what's going on. And so getting them a Missal will help to familiarize themselves with the prayers and the readings of the traditional Latin Mass. There are many different versions of the 1962 Missal. There's the Father Lassance, there's the Baronius Press. All of them have their pros and their cons. I will put links in the descriptions for those books. Finally, you don't have to buy expensive versions of spiritual classics. The great thing about The Spiritual Life is that there's many little tiny little books, such as The Secret of Mary, How to Converse Continually and Familiarly with God by St. Alphonsus, Visits to the Blessed Sacrament, and various lives of the saints that would make great little stocking stuffers. The fourth category of gifts is rosaries. I encourage every person to carry a rosary with them all the time. That is much more likely to happen if you have a nice rosary that you enjoy. So I often hear in my comments, where'd you get that rosary? I got my rosary from ruggedrosaries.com. It is called the Ashes to Ashes Rosary. And when you're at checkout, you simply put in the notes that you would like a red cord instead of gray. I personally really like rugged rosaries simply because the quality is very high and because they accept customizations. Now, they also sell my second favorite rosary, which is the Combat Rosary or the World War I Replica Rosary. It's made out of pull string beads. I really like this rosary because it's compact, it's durable. We get these rosaries for all of our confirmation students and they absolutely love them. Teenagers really love this rosary. I use this rosary to pray every single morning and then I put it around my neck. So I always have at least two rosaries on me. Now there are other great stores from where you can get your own rosaries. I hear good things about the Catholic woodworker. My friend Keenan has a rosary from the Catholic woodworker. I also hear great things about in via rosaries. Any rosary is a great gift, provided that the person prays it. So I encourage you, if you buy a rosary for somebody, include in it a booklet on how to pray the rosary. And as you know, on this channel, we have many videos on the importance of praying the Most Holy Rosary. The fifth and final category of gift is sacred art. This is one of my favorite kind of gifts to give. One Christmas, I found art prints for really cheap and I put them in some frames and I gave them out to family and friends and even family members who were not religious. But because the art was so beautiful, the receiver of that gift appreciated its artistic value and put it up in their home anyways. So now we have an agnostic person with an image of the Madonna and child. That is very powerful. Now, art does not have to be expensive and it can still be beautiful. So you will notice all around me are various canvases. I have a canvas of Our Lady Guadalupe in front of me. This canvas costs $4.99. These 11 by 14 beautiful images cost about $14 or $15. How can we get art so cheap? You simply have it made yourself. Most beautiful religious art is in the public domain. You can simply get the image you like off of Google Images, a high quality image, and go to a website such as Canvas Bees or my preferred website, Canvas Champ, and have them put beautiful pieces of art on Canvas for a great low price. You might say, Gabriel, you're a bit excessive. Why do you have all of this art in front of you? So our youth ministry is actually using this art to sell as a fundraiser. If you'd like to learn more about sacred art and how to get it cheap, I have a video called Sacred Art Super Cheap. I would love to know what is your favorite Catholic gift to give and where do you get it from? Put it in the comments below and leave a link. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a favor, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Believe it or not, that actually helps to spread these videos far and wide. God bless you, God love you, and we'll see you soon.